As with the outside, I'm left with some machining marks or tooling marks or chatter. Actually more so on the inside than the outside. But I think part of that is just the behavior of pine because I didn't get as much of that with the poplar. You can definitely see some, but not as bad. So I'm going to throw the orbital in there and see where I get. Orbital sander made quick work of that. I did 80 grit and 100 grit. I'll leave it there for now. Can always throw it on the roller jig at the Calderwood shop. Bonus points that uh, I didn't have to spin the shell. It just auto spun. This one milled to a finished thickness of 5 eighths. This one's next. These miniature fences which ride on the center T-track are for locking in the shell, like bookends. Keep it tracking where you want it. They're notched for the router bit. They also support the center of the router track. Same router track which was used for the outside of the shell. It sat on top of those verticals. This time, feed it through the drum. It is sit on here. Aluminum is notched out to slip on top of these roller blocks. These blocks have a single slot to hold the conveyor roller. They're adjustable. Bolt slides along the horizontal slot, tighten it down with a star knob. I adjust them so I can get the drum to sit as high as possible, but still clear this aluminum channel. That's pretty fun.